follow the vortex and follow the chart. How could we predict that? But I was correct. Hi guys. I hope you still remember me. This is Miana and we're gonna be trading today. We're gonna be just having our results and that type of strategy. I don't know, I feel already a little bit confused. Um, let's just see how it's gonna be for us. Here we are guys, just as always. Gonna start with all the setups, just to finish that, <laughs> all with the profits. Gonna start with this nice sum. Uh, I think it's gonna be more than enough to have it, if everything goes right, to have that as a nice profit in the end. And just changing the periods, here is gonna be 8. And second one after the ATR is gonna be the vertex for us. Let's, okay. And right here, the fact show ending and closing our strategy so it's gonna be 10 seconds I cannot say that the first I don't know my impression or the first thought is gonna be oh my god that's gonna be so beautiful oh my god that's gonna be so easy oh my god that's gonna be the nicest nice actually mm, I don't know maybe that's because this is not all of my favorite indicators and by saying favorites, I mean just this one, which is going to be closing, it's not enough for us. And by saying favorites, I mean trustable, safe, accountable. Okay, 10 seconds candles, 3 indicators, best strategy, and just today's market. Let's see it. Okay. We just done it, we just got it, and that's the bottom definitely, and you may see that actually, okay, the vortex lines just crossed. I've been making the big video about the vortex, I mean, that was also the part of the strategy, but I was so deeply into it, and I was so, so discussing what actually that indicator means, and the crossing of the lines means the changing, and the only one... I don't know how to say it. The complication that we actually may find, we just need to, to understand that crossing was in past or going to be in the future. I mean, on the chart. Right here, we saw that it was that crossing that actually changed this upward trend to the downward. And now the second crossing that we are having, that was our crossing. That means this downward trend going to be an upward one. Unfortunately, we got one more. Uh, but the thing is that we are just at the bottom with our bat, and that's just as happening on the peak. So we are safe and safely injured. And let's get it on again. Oh, it's something just okay. It's a little bit different. Just switch it. Here we are, gonna be the downward trend, and um, what made me think so? The pattern. But actually, I'm risking a little bit because the previous pattern was just like that. That was upward trend, then tiny downward, tiny upward, tiny downward, tiny upward, and tiny downward. So, right here, Maybe two options. It's gonna be the same, and we're gonna cut this upward and downward, then upward and downward one. And we're gonna be just right here at the second trend. Or this trend may end, and definitely we are quite, quite upward. If just choosing to look at the chart, but if you're gonna be looking at the ATR, that's a little bit like we are located in the downward part. Of course, Fractal just now giving us that info that... But I was correct. I mean, I was correct. We are getting downward. But that was a little bit like guessing. That was a little bit like handle that with intuition instead of strategy. Okay, the first impression out of that that we are just at the peak and we're gonna get downward but ATR still rising and the vertex lines were risking actually to cross and then change their mind I think that's gonna be the continuation of that big trend and you know that I miss of 
words I miss in my city. Just to show me what's gonna be in this next 60 seconds. Let's see. That's nice. I like it. <laughs> I like how it actually go in. And of course, I've been again and again. It's like, you know, your toxic ex trait. Uh, <laughs> Remember in this MACD indicator again and again in all of the videos, but I cannot make all of the videos with that indicator. Even if I love it, even if it's useful, I need to get it more, but sometimes I'm just, I feel the lack of it. So this is, this is classy. This is pretty nice pattern being actually kind of continuous. And we are at the peak, and I think we gotta get down for it just, just as it is. Let's see. Um, and that's that I actually told you about the vortex. Uh, sometimes you need to follow the vortex and follow the chart just, you know, to compare at what moment this crossing actually happened, at what moment the line's trying to get more open that means that we're going to be continuing that trend or they're trying to be closer because sometimes you are getting just a little bit like at what moment they are crossing is it for the past changing or for the future ones and this is not so clear in that indicator so here right here i think that's the bottom i don't know i just I don't like this strategy, so I feel less energized and all this, I don't like it. I don't feel excited, I don't feel satisfied in the end, I'm just getting exhausted with that. I, I don't like that. It's not the type of emotions, even in my work time, that I'm looking for. I want to be excited, I want to be just like, oh my god, this is working, that's perfect. That's the bottom, and we're going to get upward. That strategy actually helps us. Not too much. Uh, just me being like muted. How could we predict that with that strategy? We couldn't. What's going on? How we can make all prognosis? We couldn't. That's it. That was the last. Just as I told you, my feelings, my intuition was so correct about that type of strategy. And, you know, the best markers is I'm like, okay, I'm getting asleep. And it's not because I'm sleepy and not because I had a bad night. I have a wonderful night. I'm sleeping as a baby. But that type of strategy. Mm, not going to tell you that I strongly do not recommend that because I get my profits on it. But I strongly recommend you to think if you can improve it or use it just like that and have a little suffer in your trading.